Have you ever wanted a smarter CD command? By the end of this video, you're going to know what Zoxide is, how to set it up. Just be sure not to skip any of the steps because it can make or break your Zoxide configuration. We're going to do our initial configuration on an Ubuntu server. However, keep in mind that this configuration is going to be practically the same for whatever Debian based Linux system you're running, regardless of whether it has a desktop or it is in fact a server. The first thing we need to do is to install Zoxide and fuzzy find sudo apt install Zoxide FCF dash Y installs the two utilities that we need that work together to give you all the functionality that Zoxide is capable of giving you. And this gets us through the easy part. Next, we need to make one small configuration change that will make or break the whole right. system. So we need to go to our home directory, which we should be in right now, but we're going to do CD tilde to make sure we're there. Next, we're going to edit the bash RC file. So we're going to say nano dot bash RC. This is the configuration file for bash. We'll come down to the bottom of this, add a line, and we can even add a comment Zoxide configuration. And then we need to add in one little line here, and that is going to be eval space quote dollar sign parentheses Zoxide init bash. Close the parentheses, close the quote. Hit enter to go to the next line. Control X to exit, yes to save, and enter to keep the file name. From here, we need to log out in order for this to become available to us when we log back in the next time. Let's do that now. We're going to hit Control D. All right, we've got Fuzzy Find and Zoxide installed. We've done the configuration step. Now's the fun part. We get to start testing its functionality. So we're going to do Z documents. Z will get us back to our home directory. Z pictures, Z again for home directory and Z downloads and Z again gets us back to the home directory. Now that's all working as expected. The cool part though is adding ZI. This is the interactive part. If you do ZI, it gives you a list of the places you've been. So you can use the arrow keys to navigate and bam, you're in that directory. And again, Z will take you back home. Now, on a server, this can be especially useful. So on a server, this can be especially useful because there are lots of deeply buried files that you don't always have to get to, but it's nice to be able to be able to jump to them quickly when you do need to. For instance, if you look at the screen now, you've got boot, you've got a config 515.0.122 generic, then you've got grub below that, you've got fonts, you've got other things down here that are able to be used to do configurations and different things. You can get the idea that some of this is, since you don't use it very often, you might have to dig around, right? Just as one example, if we do CD dev and list that out, vert IO ports and list that out. And as you can see, there's just one port in here for the guest agent for QEMU. Another thing we might do is CD slash Etsy. This has got a whole bunch of configuration files in here. So we might go into D package and into D package, not getting the muscle memory. <laughs> and, and that's, that's a single file in there. So if we go Z back to our home directory, clear our screen, we could do ZI. And again, we are shown different places that we can jump to easily and save ourselves a bunch of time. Wasn't that easy? Let's take a few minutes to take a look at some things that are nice to know, but not required, starting with the documentation. So by default, when you install Zoxide and start using it, it automatically does the initialization for you. However, if you really want to get advanced with it, there are things, as you can see on your screen, that you can do to change how Zoxide operates. So if you really wanted to, you could change the command to J or X, or you could change it 
to be CD and it will replace the CD command on your system. And there are also environment variables that you can modify and these are system specific. Take a look for your specific system. Let's take a quick look at one final thing that if you're a super geek and spend a lot of time at the command line, you may find this especially useful. And that is third party integrations. Not all these exist on all platforms that Zoxide can run on. So take a look through the list and you might find something for your particular system that will be especially useful to you. Just taking a quick look through this, some of the things that may be useful in my case would be Ranger, which is a command line file manager, as well as ZSH autocomplete when I install it on my Macs. Just something to keep in mind when you are going from a novice Zoxide user to a more experienced user. All right, we've got everything configured. All that's left at this point is start using it. The more you use it, the better it's gonna get. And hey, if you're a seasoned command line junkie like myself, it may take you a little while to build that muscle memory and default to using Zoxide instead of using the CD command. But hey, that's the fun of being a tech person. You go through time, you learn new things, and it saves you time. You can't get time back, but saving whatever time you've got left is a great thing. Showing on the screen right now is a video that YouTube thinks you'll like. Thanks for watching.